Don't get any of the old knowledge on your back, so to speak. I remember that the urban used to love to play chess. And 12 o'clock at midnight, I get a phone call. Good morning. Good morning. 12 o'clock. Who's, who's it? Sensei. I want you to come down. I want you to come and play some chess. He said, oh, I gotta go to work in the morning. Uh, okay. I went over there and I go over there and uh, ready to play chess. My my uh, measly game of chess. Uh, but the one thing was a little different. Uh, I walk into his dojo at the time. And he had maybe five black dogs. I used to call these guys the urban rooms. So I walk into the dojo. Hi. I used to walk over there. I went to the dojo. And uh, they had about five guys. I said, we're going to play chess. OK? We're going to play chess. Are we going to play chess? He said, yes, we're going to play chess. But first, we must fight. <laughs> and, um, OK. All right, so after getting a couple of bumps and bruises and exchanging some uh, love and affection and, and uh, giving the love and affection uh, that some of those guys never got when they were children, and the love and affection I never got when I was a kid, I would go there again. Mm -hmm. So I think about the urban all the time. I think about what he has created. And what he has created was a multiple of grandmasters. However, your individual styles have evolved, whether you have gone to the Okinawan systems, whether you have gone to some other uh, the USA go-to system, we have a lot of grandmasters here that are truly um, uh, uh, inheritors of their namesakes. Okay? So, with, with the most utmost respect and humility, I stand before you not as Hanshi Rodan, not as the loony that you all come to know and love, or hate. Okay? But that's okay too, because uh, without the yin, there is no yang. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, you mentioned a lot of great masters, Dramatic Raganashi was the first uh, Grand Master to knock my... The first guy to knock me out. I told him I was in And I was knocked out because I wasn't in the So, <laughs> you know, children, children don't listen. What happened? He wasn't listening. Right. So, uh, after all the knocks inside there from my teachers, and there goes uh, through, through the education of of, of uh, Sensei Irving and a lot of the other masters. He, he really taught me a lot of stuff. He really taught me a lot of stuff. And his people that he taught me, that taught me, that he taught, also taught me a lot of stuff. And you should know that because you look like one of the future grand masters of this country right here. Okay? So, so he was always thinking about the future. If you know, uh, if you read the Karate Dojo, his last chapter was about martial arts in the society and where it was going. Um, and it has gone. And that's why we're here tonight. So I would like I would like for everyone to please rise. Yeah. And without any disrespect to you. I'd like to give them that level of standing courtesy. The love, the affection, the all of this system prosper. We, as we say, go to Karate Do, which is way beyond any say go to Karate. We say go to our martial arts. If they do Jitsu, if they stick by an art, if anything that I've learned, anything that I've contributed to make this system grow. Well, Father, I'm